right what is up guys um i hope you can get into this look let me get up close so you can see my hair excuse my breakouts y'all but uh hmm. but anyways you see my hair my hair my hair yes okay <clears throat> so i didn't get all glam and whatnot um for this video because um i literally just finished my hair like literally just finished my wash and go and then came and turned on the camera um so yeah <clears throat> so yeah my hair is still a little damp but um i wanted you guys to see it time it was finished um yeah it looks good my roots are eh but uh everything else looks good so yeah as you can see from the title, this is a review, a first impressions of um, the main choices new line, Killer Curls, I think it's called. Um, let me see. Proceed with caution. My bad. Proceed with caution. One of their products, I think it's called Killer Curls. But anyways, <clears throat> so um, first things first, I um, got this from Sally's. My um my local Sally's didn't have it in um the store, so I ordered it off a of line because I was like so anxious to try this. Like time, like I literally heard about this line um from the Main Choices Instagram. I was like, I need this. Like <laughs> I just I just wanted it. I needed it. Like I just like it's probably gonna be amazing. So <clears throat> sorry, y'all. I'm still looking over cold, but um yeah. So I got that off of Sally's um. Website, I got the shampoo, the conditioner, the hair mask, and the, um, the two-in-one, like, uh, gel and edge control thing that they got going on, <clears throat> which I'll show you in a minute. <clears throat> Y'all, oh my god, I'm sorry. Anyways, but this is the, um, oh, I was right. It is called Proceed with Caution, Killer Curls, and Brutal Bounce. That's what the line is called. I knew I was right. But anyways. Um, so the shampoo is slippery when wet shampoo. And then four-way conditioner. Which um, I actually just realized as I was reading this. It's a co-wash, a leave-in, detangler. Um, Three-in-one conditioner. Which is cool. Um, it's Japanese cherry and chia seed oil. And the shampoo says it gently cleanses and moisturizes hair. Um, formulated to remain, or remain, <laughs> maintain pH balance, seals cuticle to lock in moisture and shine. The chia seed oil helps maintain definition and strength. The Japanese cherry oil soothes and balances the scalp <clears throat> to promote smooth, frizz-free curls, leaves the hair super light and bouncy and gently, <clears throat> and gentle enough to use daily. And then the pre-poo, well, it says it's a pre-poo, rinse out, leave-in, co-wash, pH balance to seal cuticle, cuticle, I cannot talk y'all, cuticle and enhance shine gently, y'all, excuse me, I'm sorry, gently <laughs> lifts impurities, softens, and detangles, and then um, the Japanese oil, cherry oil is the same as that part or as a shampoo it says it's for all hair types and yeah they are about the same color i don't think you can see any difference i've used them obviously but yeah this is what they look like yeah and they do smell really good they smell really good i don't know what i was gonna say they i don't feel like they smell like cherry but I guess kind of. It kind of smells like a little lemony to me too. I don't know. But um, <clears throat> this is the um, Stop the Damage Pre and Post Poo Mask. Um, infused with biotin and vitamin A, C, D, and E. Um, that's what that looks like. Um, if I can open it so you guys can see i hope this is like yeah yeah there you go it's kind of like a 
it's kind of like watery thick ish as you guys can see but um this is a pre and a uh, post shampoo it says I used it as a pre poo um so yeah I used this on my hair before I uh I let this sit on my hair before I shampooed um what does this say um this basically says all the same thing pH balance to seal lasting moisture inside the cuticle chia seed oil strengthens smooths and repairs the strands rich in antioxidants to improve elasticity and boost shine, um, restores, moisturizes, and conditions, and just enough for everyday use. And then it just tells you, it has directions on if you're going to use it as a pre-poo or a post-poo, like what to do. <clears throat> but yeah, no mineral oil, no parabens, all the goodness, you know. And then, last but not least, I got the, um... Look both ways, hair and edge gel. Um, this says super power hair gel controls and defines pH balance formula moisturizes and delivers shine. Securely fasten edges with confidence. Antioxidants strengthen and de deeply nourish. Just enough for everyday use. Nourishing ingredients help improve texture. And then it says it's a dynamic duo hair and edge gel in the same jar formulated for defined curls. Set your favorite styles and lock down your edges. And then it has like again on the back <clears throat> directions on how to use the um, hair gel and how to use the edge gel. And it also tells you which is which because I was like when I opened it I was like uh, which one is which because... They both have the similar, I would, I would say the same, but they're similar consistencies. So I didn't know which one was the hair one and which one was the edge one. Because for the edge one, I honestly thought it was going to be like an edge control, like, you know, like hard, you know, like real thick, you know what I'm trying to say? But it's more of like a, like a soft gel, basically, obviously. So, I was confused at which one was for the hair and which one was for the edges. So, I didn't use the edges one, but, uh, because my edges aren't showing. So, um, whenever I do do my edges, I will be using this, though, to see how they work. And I will let you guys know. But, um, I did use the hair gel, which is this, um, for my wash and go. It says on the back, which is why I did do it as this. Um, where is it? Oh, it says for best results, use the styling gel for wash and goes, twist outs, and braid outs. So, um, I've been doing the shingling method, but it's not that much gel in here. So, I was already, like, kind of skeptical about how I was going to do it because I'm like, there's not that much gel and I use a lot of gel for my shingling. So, um, that was that. But then when I, like I said, I read it and it said for best results, wash and goes, braid outs, twist outs. I was like, I'll just do my old school wash and go because, you know, I lived off of wash and goes. That's all I did to my hair. So I just did um, a wash and go and it came out like this. They are soft. I know, like I said, they're still damp, but other than that, like it's still soft. I still got like, I would say my volume in my hair and everything. Let me turn. I think you guys can see. I hope you guys can see. But um, let me show you what it looks like. It's like this. Sorry, piece of hair. Oh my gosh, so embarrassing, y'all. I'm sorry. But um, as you see, I really did use it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is what it looks like. Oh gosh, I don't want it to fall. But the clear side is the edge control and the... um. The yellow side is the hair gel. And um, I, I did not use this much. It literally came this low. So I'm like, I don't know why. Because as you see, the hair, like the edge gel is all the way to the top. But um, the hair side wasn't all the way to the top. So I don't know if it just comes like that or when they package. I, I really don't know, honestly. 
But um, yeah, that that was the only thing that I was like kind of upset about because I'm like I don't have that much gel left already, um, and I will be using that side more than the edge gel. Um, and also when I do use that side, I would be needing it for my whole head more so than just my edges. So I would need more of this side than you know that side. So that's the only thing I'm upset about. But um, yeah. But like I said, this is what it looks like, which is really cool. I, this is like m the main reason why I wanted to get this line because um, oh, this is what this looks like, by the way. Um, it's like a really big, yeah. But um, because of this, like this duo thing, this is like the first thing I've seen. And I was like, this is so cool. Like I like how it has like the hair side and the edges side together in like a little compact thing. So, well, not really compact. Like I said, it's big. <laughs> but I thought that was really cool. So that was like the main reason I wanted to get this line, like I said. But um, I got obviously all the products to go with it. Um, I think the only, I think there was only one thing that I didn't get if I remember correctly and that's the hair serum I was gonna get it but it's just a serum a oil so I was like I have other oils so that's whatever so I didn't get that but um you guys get that if you want if you're interested but um yeah that was just a little video my first impressions on this line I don't have anything bad to say about it I don't think like the pre-poom it did make my hair soft um, I don't think it made it too soft, um, honestly, but that could just be my hair, but, um, it was soft though. Um, it didn't really make it, honestly, easier to detangle. Like, when I rinsed it out, it was still kind of, like, not matted, but my hair was already, like, kind of, you know, thick, matted-ish, like, dry, whatever. Um, so, yeah, it didn't make it easier for that. It still was, like, tangled or whatever. Um, but like my hair felt soft, if that makes sense. And, um, the shampoo, um, I'm trying to think, I don't want to say the shampoo dried, like felt dry-ish on my hair, but it kind of did, but I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to use it again and see how I feel about it the next time. But, um, there was that. The conditioner I liked, the conditioner, um, like I like the consistency of it. Um, it went on my hair good. It was very soft and smoothing. And then when I detangled with it, it was easy to detangle with. Like it made my hair, you know, detangle, detangleable. Mm, I just made it for it, I think. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like I liked the conditioner. And then, like I said, the gel works really good. Like, I like um, what my curls are looking like. They look really good. Um, what was I about to say? Oh, I'm going to insert some clips in here of when I first uh, got out the shower. Before I put in products, what my curls look like so you guys can see. And then also um clip of what my hair looks like when I first uh, put on the gel. Like my first section that I did, I uh, showed you guys what it looked like, which is the section back here. Can't really see it, but this section back here, I showed you guys what it looked like. Um, and then now you can see my whole head done. But um, yeah, I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And um, if you guys have any more video requests, let me know. Um, but yeah, until next time, guys. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video.